all right guys so today's video will be connecting orimo watch 3 plus to smartphone if you are using an iphone you can also use this procedure without wasting much of a time let's get down to business so the first thing to do here is to switch on your smart watch as you can see here our Rimo smartwatch is up and this is what you are going to see first hello nice to meet you so the next thing to do is to now swipe left and you are going to see the watch language select english or your most preferred language here and i'm going to select english because that's the language i understand and it's going to show this scan qr code if you press all this it's going to bring it up a little bit you can scan that to connect it up the next thing to do here is to switch on the bluetooth of your smartphone so you are going to switch on the bluetooth the data and location so i'm going to swipe to my control center and select my wi-fi or data switched on my bluetooth switched on and my location switched on so once you switch on these three you are good to go the next step to do is to go to google play store or if you are using an iphone you go to your apple app store and download orimo out hub so i'm going to search for that orimo out hub and you can see here so select that and install the orimo health app to your smartphone now our orimo health app is up and running so we are going to select open and also allow orimo health to access your photo media on your device select allow and you are going to see note on terms of use and privacy select agree and you are going to see this select start now select your country if you are from america select america if you are from nigeria select nigeria wherever your country is just select your country and also accept that you have read and agree to the privacy and terms of use if you don't want to go through all this process you can go back to the previous step and select visitor mode if you don't want to go through all this registration and others so here i'm going to just go through the whole process so that it can sync up and record all our measurements and every other stuff we need on the Orimo Health app. So I'm going to keep going, and select that and select next. And this is going to request for Gmail or your email account. So you are going to input that and it's going to send a verification code to your email. So once you input your email, for example, I input this, I'm going to select get and it's going to send a verification code to my Gmail which is this so let's wait for it okay the verification code has been sent so i'm going to go to my gmail and here is it as you can see so i'm going to select the code and copy it and go back to the registration on the Rimo health app paste it there and enter the password I want. I can just put a random password there for now and register. Now you can see it has registered, but you have to input your other details. So here I'm going to select not now for Google account. So I'm going to select my gender, confirm my height. So here, if you don't know the height in centimeter, you can go by inches or by feet. As you can see, it has changed. Actually, I am six feet and some inches tall. <laughs> okay, so confirmed. And my weight, I'm going to pick my weight here. Please input the right weight. So I'm going to pick my weight here. If you are in LBS, then you can use your LBS here. But if you don't want LBS, but in KG, you can choose your KG here. Select confirm. You can also put your date of birth. If you don't want to put your date of birth, you can just put random one, but make sure it is close to your date of birth. So I'm okay with that. I'm going to select confirm and select the next option. And here is the Orimo step goes. Here you can just leave it as default and select save. Okay, when select save, it's going to go to the next page. Now you can see peer device, bind via QR code, peer via Bluetooth. So you can pick either of these two. I'll be using the QR code method here and select allow and it's going to show the QR code scanner so now I'm going to turn on my smartwatch okay press hold on it to just open up and now it is connecting 
So as you can see, it says bind successfully and it's showing bind successfully on the smartphone too. So I'm going to select bind successfully down here and I'm going to grant notification permission here. And also we can see it shows peer with Orimo Watch 3 Plus. Select the option allow to access contact and call Israel's peer. And select go to setup. Select that and grant notification access to Orimo Health Hub, which you can see down here. So we are going to select that also. Allow notification access here. Confirm by selecting allow. And you can see it has allowed it. Now you can go back. Go back once again and that is it now your orimo l tab has been successfully connected to your orimo smartwatch you can see the time is now correct as you can see it is 237 on the smartwatch and 237 on the smartphone that means it is now correct now if you want to use it to receive calls you have to go to this option here there are two ways you can do it you can swipe down and turn on this option for call this icon here if it's off like this that means it is turned off you can't use it to receive call or if you turn it on if you turn it on like this that means you can use it to receive call you can also increase the backlight time that is you can see it is going off quickly you can go to the settings and increase the backlight time if you want to do that and the second way to set the bluetooth call function is to go to the settings here press the top button and select call and make sure this is toggle on this switch make sure it is toggle on like this and you'll be able to use it to receive call so when anybody calls you it's going to ring on the smartwatch and you can pick it either from the smartwatch or use your smartphone to pick the call up and also if you want to add contact to your smartwatch come to this contact here please let me quickly increase the backlights let me go to the settings and increase the back light of this because it is going off quickly that is let's set it to 20 seconds okay so i've set it so it's not going to go off any moment from now now we are back so if you want to add contact to your smartwatch so you can dial it directly on your smartwatch without using your smartphone just go to this contact here it's going to give you access to 100 contacts so you can add up to 100 contacts to this smartwatch as you can see it says no contact here now you go to the setting here select this option and select this orimo watch 3 plus and you are going to see bluetooth call so select bluetooth call you are going to see synchronized contact select that and you are going to see all your contacts come up now you can select up to 100 contact to sync up all right so i don't have up to 100 contacts here so i'm just going to select edit here and toggle on all the contacts that i want to toggle on that is i want to select i want it to be on the watch just select everything so once you have select all the contacts select the save option up here and you can see synchronize successfully now you can go to your contacts on your smartwatch select call select contact and all your contact will be on the smartwatch as you can see all the contacts are on the smartwatch now though it is not the way i put them but you are going to see up to 10 characters of your contact on the smartwatch so i can die directly from this smartwatch and it's going to go so let me die one it's telling me to set up emergency contact so if you notice that the bluetooth call function on this orimo watch 3 plus is not working all you have to do is to restart your smartphone and reboot the smartwatch make sure that your smartwatch is not connected to other bluetooth device and also your smartphone is not connected to other bluetooth device now open the orimo health app and log in or you can skip the whole process by using the visitors mode option then you can now connect it up once again once it is connected and you try to use it to make call, if it's still not working, then select one of your contacts as the SOS contact. Then you have to go to the Bluetooth setting of your smartphone, unpair it or forget it and repair it again. That means you connect it again via the Bluetooth method. This should fix the Bluetooth call function not working and it will start to work as you can see in the video. Just connected. And now let's try it. It's going to work. 
call contact adex friend as you can see it is connected it shows calling out and you can see it is ringing okay so that is how to do it if that doesn't work for you just watch this video again watch this part and it's going to connect so now you can go to your contact here and select anyone and it's going to start calling out okay so it's as easy as that so if you want to set up your whatsapp notification or your social media notifications on your rimo watch 3 plus all you have to do is to go to the rimo health app then you go to the options here and select sync with phone notification select that and you are going to see sync with phone call sync with phone messaging make sure all these are toggled on and if your social media platform is not on this list you can select others and it's going to bring up all the applications on your smartphone so you can toggle it on if you want other notification toggle it on for the social media platform or other apps that you want to get notification on your Orimo Watch 3 Plus. It's as easy as that. Once you are done, just select the back option and you'll be getting notification from other social media platforms. The music control, you can also come here and check that out. But I'll be sharing with you how you can put music, that is import music to this Orimo Watch 3 Plus in another video because this video is already long. So if you have any issue, any difficulty, please drop it down there in the comment section and I'll reply you.